Alright guys, we are out here for our review on the 1S from Utopia. This is a full carbon bike. You guys have probably seen it around the internet. We're a little late to the game, honestly. There's been lots of people that have covered it so far. But they sent us one, so we're going to go ahead and check to see what this baby's all about. First thing that you notice is the design here. Super unique. So, they got a full carbon frame. We've got a removable battery. 350 watt motor here in the rear 45 newton meters of torque which isn't crazy but for a road bike no throttle trying to get a lot of that road bike feel to it this is you know it's enough that 45 newton meters hydraulic brakes on here we've got these you know thinner road tires uh, lots of cool functionality here there's a smart bar we'll get into it and we've got our fun light back here one of my favorite things about this light is it has side lights that shoot out here at the side for your turn signals and you've also got this light back here which is going to let us know you know what's going on such and such first things first let's go ahead and get into some of the smart features here i'm going to go ahead and open the app so here is the app on my phone similar to the app that we had for the cord i actually believe that might be, be the same app might be updated a little bit but let's go ahead and turn it on Oh, cool. Now the screen's vibrating a little bit. I'm shooting this at 60 frames per second, I believe. So uh, in real life, it looks cool. It doesn't look all wavy like it looks right here. But let's go ahead and pop in here. So you can turn the lights from here. So boom. So we get our lights turning on in the rear. We get our light turning on in the front. And one of the things I really like about this light is it has a pretty wide throw, but also plenty of space up here in the front so really good visibility as far as the light goes it's mounted up high which is an excellent feature so we can go over here we can change a couple of things and turn the lights off for now you can change the sounds so for the power on i kind of like the utopia thing we got the ringing here i'm a big fan of the horse's bark that's what i'm talking about uh turbo we got jet or levitation what's levitation i like that the alarm could be the alarm that is fine going here to Advanced settings, you got auto light, game mode, brake light, um, expansion screen. I'm not sure what that is. It's doing something over there. That's interesting. Uh, I'll put in Fahrenheit, put in miles, top speed. We'll accept and continue. Now we gotta read, 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 read it all. Okay. Calibration complete, top speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, accept and continue. Okay, so it's not allowing us to change. I thought we could change it there. So right now we should be able to go 20 miles per hour. And let's talk about some of the other specs. We do have these ergonomic grips here, which have a locking mechanism right here, so they're not going to move around. I like these ones. They're a little spongy, so it feels like you get a really solid grip on here. A little bit of that palm support, but nothing too crazy. So I feel like I still got a really solid grip on here. So I can reach down here, grab these Tektro, look, they're like two finger levers right here. Pretty nice. They stop the bike really well. They're not, they're not especially stoppy. And we're riding the 10 ways we, we could skid around a little bit. Less skidding on here. We could probably dial that in if we wanted to, but it does stop the bike really well. Feels like it's a nice controlled stop. And it's just lighter, you know, it's all carbon fiber. Um, on this side, we've got our Shimano SIS index thumb shifter, seven speeds, a little bit, what's the right word I'm looking for? It seems like we should have a different shifter here. For me, I probably would have put on some trigger shifters, which just made the whole bike look a little bit more sleek. And we've got a sleek integrated keypad, sleek integrated button slash horn here. And this just sticks up out of the bike. So if we swap this for some trigger shifters, I think the whole profile of the bike would become a little bit better. Or even if we wanted to swap this out for, I've seen a black version of this. So if we had a black top cap here, at least it would blend in a little bit better. So from a static standpoint, I feel like that could be a little bit better, but it does function well. We've got the Utopia saddle here, which I don't have too many complaints about. It does seem a little bulky for this particular bike it's very sleek you know very sexy and then we got this sort of you know middle of the road middle thickness saddle here um so yeah nothing to complain about really it just seems like it's a little bit a little bit off the way that the um this guy what do you call that now seat post the way the seat post is in here you have this bolt in here that tightens the mechanism in here so kind of a different approach to 
tightening the seat, but we have this, you know, very unique design, so they had to do something a little bit different there. So, you know, nothing really to uh, complain about, just if you want to loosen it, you know, you do right here. But preferably, you know, you'd find a spot, you'd set it, and you'd, you know, you forget it here. We've got some uh, kind of lower end Welgo pedals here. Nothing too crazy, but it seems like there could be something a little bit sleeker here. Nice, you know, thicker plastic uh, chain guide on this side. Uh, some good internal cabling. I mean, we've got all the cables coming right here. It's only, you know, these three cables up front. We don't have brake cutoff inhibitors or motor cutoff inhibitors rather on the brakes. Now you're only going 20 miles per hour. This is a very light bike, so not a huge deal in my opinion. And that sort of adds to, you know, the aesthetic flavor here. The fact that we only have these three cables up front. They get integrated into the frame really nicely. Uh, they pop out down here. So this will pop out down here for the brakes. And then on the other side, this will pop out here for our derailleur. Shimano turning over here. We got the six, seven speed. Seven speeds on here. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven speeds. And 36 volt battery on this guy. So you can see right here we got a 350 watts, 36 volt on the motor. So that battery has got to be 36 volts, guys. That's how this works. So let's talk about some of the light features. I'm going to wait a little bit because as you can tell, sun's coming down so in a couple more minutes we will have some good you know visuals on the lights and such so let's go ahead and take a little break we'll be back it'll be a little bit darker and we'll get into the ride test on this bad boy all right guys we are out here for the ride test i want us to go ahead and hit that power button oh yeah all right, so when you turn the bike on, it is in pedal assist level zero. So this is gonna be a traditional bike feel. Very traditional, very bike, uh, much feelings here. The nice thing is it is still gonna show us our speed. So that is pretty nice. We're in gear number four. And honestly, this is not too bad to pedal. Now, if I was gonna keep this long-term, which is usually one of the lenses I look at a bike through, I probably keep the grips, I like the grips. Uh, might switch out the saddle. I don't know if it's agreeing with my sit bones quite as well as I had originally thought. And the pedals. Probably get something that's a little bit wider, a little bit sleeker maybe. Uh, again, it's just one of those things that, you know, if you swapped out this thumb shifter right here, got us some better pedals or some sleeker pedals, pedders, some pedals, I would say, then, uh, <clears throat> you know, it adds, it adds a better vibe to the, to the overall look of the bike. So we're in pedal slow zero. This is pleasant. Cruise only 11, 12 miles per hour. I could go for a bike ride like this, but it's electric. Right, our pad up over here. Get a little bum bum. Go to first, which is nice. Might have a traffic jam up here. Oh. Appreciate it. And we'll go to Pelsis level two. Oh, that one had some birds in it. Some of the sounds here are just really fun. It is like a video game. You know, I've heard I've heard a lot of people talk about it. They've got game mode. I think I've got game mode enabled right now, actually. And uh, yeah, lots of video game sounds. So we're going 18 miles per hour, press level two. Go ahead and hit the brakes here. You see nice, easy breezy stopping power. Let's scoot down here. And we're off. And I'm putting pedal assist level three. And we're already at 20 miles per hour. Got to put in seven. Thinking about the gearing here. It's good, good gearing for me. Now it is a torque sensor. And the way we find that out is we stop, skid a little bit. So we're kind of going like this. So I'm barely putting any pressure, but I'm still kind of pedaling at a cadence. I know we're going 11 or so. As soon as I put some force behind it, then we're going to pick up speed there. So even if we're pedaling, you know, that, and not putting any force on it, we're not going to get any more out of the motor. So for a bike that is looking to be a little bit more road bike and cater to that crowd, having more of a natural bike feel with that torque sensor is definitely a plus for those individuals. And we'll go over here, get our top speed. Hit 
hit 24 on the downhill there pretty easy lots of people out for a bike right now because it's uh not 110 degrees anymore coming by yeah thank you little the horses bark here yep the horses bark nothing wrong with that pretend like I didn't know all right guys we're doing the off-road test I'm just kidding we're not gonna do that what do I look like to you guys some sort of crazy person now it is a little bit darker over here, and this is what I was hoping for. Not for an off-road test. I'm not going to have any of them shenanigans right now, but found a nice tree. Now, you guys see me put it up against a tree every time. You're like, why is he putting it up against a tree? Well, because we don't have a kickstand that comes with the bike. You can purchase it separately, I believe, and there's a spot for it. But when you get it, as you can tell right there, it popped on. So I've got the automatic lights on. As soon as we got up under this, you know, this cover, it's fairly dark in here. Boom, our lights come on up front. And this is what I mean by the throw. I'll cover this up. You see, we get light all the way out here, but a majority of it is going down this way, which is kind of where we would want it. You can see where the, the light is going to. Now, the, the cables do kind of cup, you know, cover in front of it a little bit. Not a huge deal. It's not really obscuring that much of your light. You're traveling and... You know, not really a huge deal, but if you, you know, wanted to find a way to manage those cables a little bit, maybe kind of tie this one down a smidge so it takes up less of our of our lights here. And then in the back, we can see we've got our tail light and then our side lights that come down. You see this kind of, you know, this little shape right here. That is coming from the light over here. It's not it's not super bright, and we're still not very dark I'm covering this up boom that's it let's go ahead and try out the turn signals so we'll press the left button we'll do that one first and it lets you know you're turning you can see there's a left right here and then boom and flash on and off now something that would be cool because depending on when you're riding this this is pretty low now most people might see that but most people aren't looking on the road for things this would be cool to have also have the brake here as a turn signal. And because the brakes aren't connected, we don't have this brake signal integration. I'm pulling on the brake handle up here. So we don't get that, but we do have the turn signals. It's pretty cool. We have the right one on over here. So the right one is a brighter light. You see that down there. But all in all, the lights here are, are pretty cool. Press down here. Change our level of pedal assist. You guys know that and our horses bark that is uh, honestly my favorite part of of the bike when we had the cord okay when we had the cord i also had the horses bark on big fan of the horses bark and for those of you who don't really know equestrian things that well um horses don't bark per se i have heard a horse make a barking noise but Generally, they nay or whinny or something else. Oh, good job, bud. Good job. Two, two future e bikers right there. You can see it in their faces. All right, so we are scooting along at our 20 miles per hour. That bump was a little, a little bumpy. Those are our friends we passed earlier. They must have hit the end of their loop and they're going back. Coming around the corner here. I feel like that'd just be a good, uh, a good shorts video. Just going around, sneaking up, maybe not sneaking up, right? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cause any, any accidents or anything, but you know, as people are coming by, hitting with a little horse's bark. Yeah, as far as the ride feel goes, you know, no suspension here, thinner road tires. I have them sort of at the lower end. Okay, so I can skid. I don't know what was happening earlier. I was trying to skid and I couldn't, but now I'm out here just skidding away. Let's 
stopping us on our descent here. Nice and easy. Go ahead and put it in first gear. Hit our UE. Probably could have made that, just a little off balance. Let's go ahead and sneak up here and let's go. A little bit hard. We've only got those 45 newton meters of torque. So made it up there, but I was putting in quite a bit of work. Let's go ahead and do it with a moderate amount of speed. Nothing too crazy because we don't have any suspension to absorb that. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about, guys. Not, you know, skid. I'm skating now. All right. Got about seven. Hit that hill. Or climb that hill. Still need to put in quite a bit of work. Now, torque sensors in general are a little bit different. And uh, that's probably caused some of it, but we have been on some torque sensors that did really well. Now we're taking it off road. Not the terrain, but hey, she's handling. She's handling. Again, not a road bike. I mean, it is a road bike. It's meant for the roads, but you know me, I look for any excuse to hit the trail. So this will be the off-road portion of the review. Look at those automatic lights, baby. I feel like I'm in a Subaru right now. Again, torque sensor, so as soon as we start pedaling, we do get do get some nice torque and speed going here over the bridge under the walkway now there is this left turn which I have never taken before wait a second oh this is just a different part of the trail guys okay well she did that she did all right now this is not the typical use case. This is uh, this is not the use case at all. But you know, if you guys put your put your minds to something, you can do whatever you want. But hit this little jump here a little bit easier with a little bit easier with throttle. But she's doing it. She's doing it. I also discovered a nice little exit here. So let's go ahead and. Hit the old exit and skedaddle on out of here. All right. Ooh, a snake. What kind of snake is that? It's a fast little guy. You see that? I love me some animals. I'm going to show that to my son later. He's a big fan of dinosaurs. But who isn't? And ducking. Woo! That was a little close. Now we're cruising. Like, man, the lighting here is nice. It'd be nice if I could just throw this thing up. Now, if you are not a serious road biker type of dude, I might recommend picking up the kickstand. Now, as far as I know, it's not some sort of custom kickstand. So, there's probably lots of less expensive third-party ones available but if you want to you know keep it all in the utopia family and they have that available for you to snag now, this is kind of my favorite riding spot here five yeah four or five. Oh, good call my friend good call oh appreciate it And we'll do a little bit more off-road adventures because that's what I like to do. Welcome to Electrified Reviews. Through our YouTube channel where we do what we want to do, when we want to do it. Did Utopia ask me to take this thing off-road? No, it didn't. Did it ask me to take it in the loose, loose, loose sand? No, they didn't. But I'm doing it anyways. Gotta let people know I'm coming, you know? They're used to hearing Ryder, but now they got this. <laughs> there we go all right let's go ahead and shift down we're gonna get into a little bit of some climbing spots here we'll jump Oop. automatic lights there we go all right we're 
the roots. All right, guys, I don't know how this is gonna look on camera. It's gonna get shaky. Nope, not hitting that. Gonna get shaky, guys. Oh, God, oh, Lord, oh, geez, Louise. Holy moly, oh, my goodness. We did it, though, didn't we? Whoa. Oh, we gotta be confident to ride this thing over here. You guys, I am confident. It'd be super funny if I fell right there. I'm talking about how confident I am. And we're back where she belongs. Go ahead, hit a little horse's bark here. Oh, we are home free. Now, something I was interested in is the balance here. So let's go ahead, do a little no handedness. See how she handles. She has she hand less. Oh, you know what? That's easy, guys. Look at that. That is not too shabby. That feels really good, actually. So we got some good no handed balance. I can ride this for a while. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, that is pretty sweet. So like I mentioned in the beginning, there's lots of people who have covered this bike. So this is not a tech heavy review. It is just riding experience. Went over some of the stats here. Kind of dabbled in the app. Go ahead and hit a little horse's bark here on the corner. Not sure what that was, but it's going on YouTube. It is going on YouTube right there. Looks like she was giving birth to a squid. And guys, we're no hands here, or hands but hands free. Just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with us. If you guys want to know some of the tech specs that we didn't cover here, you can check that out over at electrifiedreviews.com. Check out some extra pictures, written review there as well, covering a little bit more of the stuff that. I just didn't feel like saying today, guys. We're out here for a beautiful ride, beautiful sunset. It's another beautiful day to be alive, don't you think? Another beautiful day for e-bike reviews. And before it gets too philosophical, guys, I'm gonna sign off and we'll catch you on the next one. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, that was great. We'll cut it there. Make everybody think we crashed into a pole. <laughs> oh, I love my job.